So, uh, uh, as far as uh, Kashmir is concerned, it has been uh, uh, every time for the last so many couple of years on the news, a headline, and unfortunately, it's being projected in a manner as if uh, the whole community has turned to be violent or branded as terrorists and all that. Uh, but one question uh, is to be posed to all those who are using such a situation, unfortunate situation for narrow electoral ends. We must tell them uh, by projecting Kashmir this way or uh, by creating situations where Kashmiris are put to the wall and uh, their desperation leads uh, to violent activities and then responses which should have emerged from those who matter in the uh, country, those who are ha at the helm of affairs should have uh, understood the very roots of this uncertainty and the basis of this uncertainty so that a proper political approach is uh, adopted to uh, address the issues so that some solution is found out, so that some, some way forward is identified. But unfortunately, since BJP came into power in Delhi, situation got much more aggravated in Kashmir. In 2014, elections were held both for parliament and assembly. There were long queues of younger generation enthusiastically participated in the democratic process. But now, uh, even Anant Nag parliamentary seat remains vacant because this government, either from Delhi or in Jammu and Kashmir, they could not hold the elections for the last so many years. That remains unrepresented. Who is responsible for this? The democratic sections of the population of our country must understand. Uh, if uh, this is, uh, this situation is uh, allowed to move like this and if the policy of drift is followed as is being done by BJP and or if the BJP leadership is seen to be or allowed to work on the uh, partisan way using the situation for electoral ends, it will be dangerous for Jammu and Kashmir, it will be dangerous for the unity of the country as a whole as well. Before it is too late, the democratic opinion of the country, the secular opinion of the country must assert, must, must put pressure on the government so that they give up this uh, uh, security specific approach, uh, relying more and more on security forces, application of force only and uh, persuade the authorities to adopt the policy of negotiations, dialogue with all the stakeholders in Kashmir, Jammu and Kashmir and with Pakistan as well. Only that will give us an opportunity, provide us an opportunity for the people of Kashmir uh, to come out from this crisis and the country's interests of uh, unity uh, and democratic process can be strengthened, can be protected. Otherwise, if it is left to this communal uh, approach of BJP, if it is left to this uh, this approach of just killing the people there using much more and more force, I'm afraid it will certainly create more uh, wedge between the people of Kashmir and the rest of the country. It will, it will push the people, particularly the younger generation, uh, to the level of desperation. That is neither useful for the people of Kashmir nor it can in any way serve the democratic process. Uh, uh, which is required to be initiated in Jammu and Kashmir. Oh.